Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. This is Taisha with Organized Plans. I want to start by thanking all of my returning subscribers for spending some time with me today. And if you're new to my channel and haven't subscribed yet, I would love to have you. In today's video, I'm going to be unboxing my new Moterm A7 uh, wallet binder, as well as refreshing my binders and categories for 2024. So if you'd like to join me for this binder setup video for budgeting and cash envelopes, then just keep on watching and let's get started. <music> Okay, so I'm going to start by just doing a quick unboxing of my new Moterm A7 um, binder wallet. And so I'm just going to move everything off to the side and just show kind of everything that I picked up with this um, wallet and then some of the accessories and so forth to go with it. So for this Moterm, um, binder wallet. I did uh, purchase it from Amazon and I can link it down below. It does come in multiple co uh, colors rather and I chose kind of this taupe um, kind of pebble leather style um, and it's so pretty. I think it's kind of a, I don't know, Maybe it looks taupe to me, um, but they had like a white, black, uh, croc style. Um, but I really thought this was more of a neutral, could kind of just go with everything. So it is very soft, and um, in terms of um, the the wallet, so it has um, this snap here, and if it gets really full, you can still kind of use the, the closer snap, or if it's to make it a little bit tighter, you can use the other snap. And it actually did come with, um, now I'll just zoom in a little bit so you can see everything. It did come with a um, silver, um, for this binder part, it was silver, but I've actually already changed it out to gold rings. Um, and so I'll just show that in a bit. Actually, I'll just show it right now. Here's the original one that it came with and it matches the hardware. Um, but I really like that you can actually change out the um, the uh, the binder rings itself. And I love this gold. I thought this would be really pretty to start the year off with. Um, and so I did purchase also these um, rings from Amazon. It came in a two pack and I got them. So it came with the silver. I got the, uh, the gold. And then I also picked up these as well, these rings and the rose gold. And I think Think that color I think this wallet goes with all three of these colors but I love that rose gold as well it's so pretty and so that's what I'm I'll be able to kind of refresh this um, throughout the year and change out the rings and the style and the look of everything um, as I want to but I'm going to start with the gold. And so I'm um, just kind of moving through how this looks. You do have kind of this little um, coin um, pouch here for loose change. And then a spot to put three cards and then a larger spot. So I've seen some videos where planners or budgeter, budgeters, they kind of decorate this, which would be a lot of fun. It has this inside pocket for maybe some loose papers. Um, and then it has this, um, I don't know the, the correct name for it, but it kind of just is a, like a divider and it has a pin loop on the end. Uh, and then on this side, you have three slots for cards as well. So I probably will put like my license or my debit card, something like that on these inner ones, just so it's a little bit hidden. Um, and then on the back side, you have one, two, three, four, five slots as well. And you can kind of um, put the cards in horizontally. Uh, and then another kind of back pocket. You have another um, pin loop here. And then finally, on the inside, a really large wallet space here as well. Um, and then 
just the back side of everything. So I love this um, so much. And as I said, I think this will be work out really well for me um, because it's very neutral and I can just put it in a lot of different purse styles. Um, and I really um, look forward to using this. So um, I'm going to start with setting this one up first. Um, and then we'll move into the other binder that I was using, which I'm now going to use as my, um, as more like savings, um, challenges and, um, sinking funds type of binder. So for this, for the setup, um, a few other little accessories that I picked up and I'll just show that really quick again everything that i picked up was from off of amazon um so i have this like little divider piece and again it's already punched with the rings to perfectly fit in here this was um some little paper and it came with like this little ruler again i can snap that in um and then these sheets i'm gonna use these as just like little sheets for um, kind of to do's. I'm gonna put this towards the back. And so um, as I have this in my purse and I'm out and about, if I need to write like a little bit of a list of items um, to pick up or groceries or just, you know, things as I'm running errands, I'll have a little uh, piece of paper that I can write those, uh, th those things on. So I think that is all of the accessories. Maybe there's one more item. Um, let's see here. Yeah, this was another thing that came from Amazon and it just had, it's just a simple pouch. Again, it's sized for the A7 and I'm planning on just putting in here maybe any gift cards that I have that I wanna take on the go with me and put in my um, wallet that I can just slot those in here. Okay, so in terms of the setup, um, and the changes that I'm making for 2024, I want to use this as my main cash envelope um, binder or wallet. And so I will, you know, after I get done filming, um, add in my different cards and, you know, bank cards and license and so forth. I'm not going to show that part on camera. Um, but the rest, I am going to go ahead and set up. And so um, the way I'm going to do this, and I'm just gonna just get myself a little organized. So a few things that I did um, in terms of my categories, let me just show those. So I'm gonna have a category for groceries. I'm gonna have one for household items. These are really all the same of what I had previously in my binder. binder. Um, one for planning. Um, another one for eating out, so another one for clothing, okay, and then beauty as well, and then finally the last um, envelope that I'm going to have is for giving. And so this is going to stay in my purse um, with me. And um, I wanted to add in the envelope for giving, especially as I have like a few different dollars that I can put in here. And if I see someone in need, um, you know, I'll have some change, some cash or me to give. So that's what's going to go into the giving one. So all of these um, envelopes I did purchase uh, off of Amazon. I think it was a pack of 12 um, and they're the zipper pouch style. So they just unzip, you put the money in and you can zip it back up. So it keeps it pretty secure. Um, they all come pre-punched. Uh, and then for the labels, I just um, cut the cut this on my Cricut um, and, uh, and just use some black, some simple black vinyl um, for, uh, for the words, for the categories. So that's how I'm going to, uh, that's the categories I'm going to use in this binder. And then the other thing that I did was I printed uh, or um, laminated 
this really pretty cardstock um, paper. Um, I just was going through my stash and I really wanted to just continue to use the paper that I have. I have so many lovely types of um, cardstock paper and I thought this goal was just so pretty. I don't know. <laughs> it's not really like a winter pattern or anything, but I thought this would be fun to start the year with. And it has this pretty gold foil to it, which I think are going to match the rings just perfectly. So my thought is that um, in each of these sections, and I'm going to just kind of start building this out. Um, I'm going to put in um, the little divider, the uh, envelope, and then I have these sheets here also as well. Um, that came in a pack and these are kind of called financial sheets and almost you can use this as tracking for your your budget or log so I'll um, put in like the deposit amount and then what my transaction is and then what my balance is so after each envelope I'm going to put one of those um, little cards okay and then on to the next one and that is going to be household. Um, and the other thing that I did was as I um, put the vinyl on these, I kind of put them on in opposite directions to just try to make it lay a little bit flatter. So you can see this one kind of zips to the left and this one, it zips to the right. So um, just, you know, a little bit of a tip there if you need something to help you. Um, you know, just to help everything kind of lay nicely. So I have that one in, okay. Um, and then I'll move on to my next one here, this pretty one. And then my next category. And as I said, all I did was just um, take some cardstock, two sheets of cardstock, cut it down to size, and then I just ran them through my laminator. So really easy. Okay. And then go back to this pattern. And now I'm planning. Just make sure I'm getting focused so you can see everything. Okay. All right. All right. And then Next is going to be, let's see, beauty. And just grabbing, I thought I had enough of those little financial sheets, but I may have to get some more. Yes, I think I will. No big deal. I'm just going to put a few of these in. In the meantime, keep going. Okay. And then this next one. And I used, um, I used a hole punch just to uh, punch the holes on the cardstock, the laminated cardstock as well. Okay, and then I'm going to put this last one in for giving, and that will be the end of my categories. And then, I, as I said, I wanted to just put in um, some of these just to kind of uh, be like a divider. So this one here is just clear, and then I'm going to put that note paper just so I can have that little paper while I'm out and about. And then finally, um, this little sheet there for um, any gift cards. And then finally, kind of this I'll use as like a back cover. Um, and I think that will be everything. So I'm just going to close this up. And that is looking great. And it fits still really well. 
Um, and in my next video will be my cash stuffing for my first paycheck of the uh, of the year. And so um, I'll also have another video coming. So definitely stay tuned. It probably will be posted within the next day. And that will be me um, doing my normal uh, budgeting and uh, cash or budgeting, cash planning, and then uh, stuffing the envelopes. But this is how everything looks. So I have my groceries and then household and then eat out and then planning and then beauty, clothing, and then that final giving, and then just some little uh, paper that fits perfectly in here. The last thing I'm gonna grab is just um, a pen, and this pen is from um, Simply Gilded. This came in one of her subscription boxes, and again, I just love that simple, gold. I think that matches the disc so beautifully. And that is going to be my setup. So um, everything is ready to go, ready to uh, cash plan and stuff uh, for my first paycheck. So now we will move on to refreshing uh, my binder that I was previously using. And I want to now repurpose this um, for savings and savings challenges and um, and sinking funds. So I'm gonna start by just taking all of these envelopes out of the binder and I'll talk through um, the new envelopes that I'm gonna be using. In terms of my new envelopes, I'm going to start with this first one that says groceries. And as I mentioned, um, you know, I get paid twice a month on the 15th and the last um, day of the month. And uh, the amount that I allocate for groceries covers two weeks, um, but I do my grocery shopping on a weekly basis. So one week will go automatically into the A7 cash binder that I just um, wallet that I just showed and then this will be for the second week's amount um, so that's going to go in here or actually I'll just keep going and then we'll move forward with setting them up the next envelope is going to be for release so this will be for like small sticker shop releases or the happy planner I had a similar envelope as I had saved up for the happy planner fall release and I want to do that again for like the spring release and so forth so this will allow me to um, save up for that and just put a little bit of money um, in each of my paychecks towards um, releases. The next envelope is for Go Wild. Now, I want to just use this as like a starting point, but my plan is to set up a dedicated binder later this month um, for Go Wild and that will allow me to break down um, Go Wild into additional categories like um, the amount setting aside for the airfare for my flights, um, hotel costs, um, food, you know, etc. So definitely stay tuned to my channel where I will have another binder setup video that will be specific to Go Wild. Okay. And then uh, savings. So Go Wild is the main thing that I'm saving up for from now through um, April. That is a planner conference that's going to be held um, middle of April. So once I get past Go Wild, you know, any other money from the amount that I allocate and budget for towards savings, I'll just have a savings envelope for it. Uh, and then the last category um, is just going to be groceries again. There are times where my um, the amount that I'm allocating for groceries covers uh, three weeks. So I want to have three different envelopes um, for that. So that will be perfect um, in terms of having these all uh, in here. And then uh, let's see what else. Um, in here in just this pocket, I printed off these um, placeholders as well. They just say 100. So anytime that I get up to like a 100 um, amount in my envelope, I want to replace it with a um, placeholder and put that money back into the bank. Um, so I have a bunch of those that I just um, printed from my Cricut or designed them on my Cricut software and printed them on vinyl um, 
paper, um, or sorry, not vinyl, on vellum <laughs> paper. Uh, and then I also have one that just says fully funded. So anytime that, you know, I reach the goal that I want for that category, um, I can take the money out and just replace it with a fully funded placeholder and put that money back into my bank account. So that's how I'm going to use those. And I'm planning on just storing these right here. So in terms of um, these envelopes, again, these are the zipper style. Um, I was, again, using these um, matte ones that I created uh, and laminated, and I really like the frosted look of these, but I just wanna kind of change them up for the, the new year and kind of refresh everything. I do sell both styles on um, in my Etsy store, which I always have link um, down below in the description box of my video. Videos, um, it's Lux Budgets. So definitely check that out if you're looking for simple envelopes with just a, a fun um, font to it. That's what I offer. Um, and this font is kind of like the Ray Dunn style one. Um, so in each of these envelopes, I'm going to just be putting a budgeting um, kind of tracker sheet so that I can know kind of where each amount stands. Um, you know, by just looking at the sheet. So I'm just gonna put that in. I did trim these down just slightly, um, just to make it easier to slot in and out of the envelope. Um, so that just makes it really easy. And I can just zip it across. And um, I can say I definitely, um, have enjoyed using this cash envelope system um, throughout 2023, and I'm really looking forward to using it for 2024. I would say for me, what has helped me the most personally is with impulse spending. <laughs> um, because, you know, by me allocating an amount that I'm budgeting um, towards in each of these envelopes, I can, you know, know kind of what my limit is and it just helps me really think twice around do I really want it? If I absolutely want it, you know, I have the money set aside for it and I know I can spend only what is in that envelope and it also helps me say, you know, maybe I don't really want this like cheaper item. I want to keep saving up for something maybe as a nicer item or for example, for Go Wild. That's going to be, I think, a, a pretty expensive um, conference. This will be my first time going, and um, I know it's a lot of money, and I really want to just make sure that this allows me to kind of save slowly over time versus having to come up with a lot of money, um, you know, at, at, at one time. Okay, so now that we have these all set up, I do want to just go ahead and transfer um, any money that I had um, remaining. So the groceries is empty, <laughs> household as well. Eat out, um, I have uh, $10 in here. So I wanna go ahead and I'll put that in. Um, let's see, let me grab my other binder and I will put that in the eat, up, eat out category. And I will also just update all my trackers. I'll probably do that um, off camera. So the only thing about the A7 um, size is that you do have to fold the money, um, but that's not that big of a deal for me. Um, but as you can see, it just slots right in very easily and you can just zip it right across. Okay, so that takes care of eat out um, in the planning envelope. Let's see, I still had um, 50. So that is going to go into here. And again, just um, fold this and drop that right in. That looks great. And clothing is empty. Beauty, let's see, 70, it looks like I have in here. So 20, 40, 60, 70, perfect. I'm just gonna fold that over and let's put that into Beauty. All right, and again, I will uh, take a minute just to update all my trackers. 
And again, stay tuned for my follow-up video where I will be um, doing my budgeting for my paycheck number one and cash stuffing. Okay, so go wild. Um, so I'm going to move that over into this binder in that go wild category. So I had 150. And so let me just take that out. 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 50. Okay, and that is going to go in here. And I do, um, let me just put this in first. Okay, that fits perfectly. That's great, all right. Um, and then the last one is savings, and I have a 100 in here as well. So for savings, I'm actually going to add this into Go Wild, just because, um, as I said, that is the main thing that I'm saving up for between now and April, and then after that, I'll add some into more of the general savings. Um, so that one, I did a little bit of um, consolidating uh, and reallocation, so this one will now have 250, and so perfect. So I am ready to uh, get uh, stuffing and uh, everything for my first paycheck. Um, and yeah, I'm just so excited to be using this system again for 2024. Definitely give the cash envelope system a try. And I look forward to bringing many more videos, you know, like this on my channel each week. So um, definitely let me know what you think down in the comments below. And if you like this video, don't forget to click the like button and give me a big thumbs up. Would greatly appreciate you subscribing. I thank you all so much for watching and I hope you have a great day. Bye friends.